Hey guys, I'm here with my dog Joe, and she's got a tick on her. I swear, she gets so many ticks on her, and I think it's because she's tan colored and deer are tan. It's a theory I have. Don't hold me to it. I'm not sure if it exists. But these are the tweezers that I use to pick ticks off of my dogs, humans, things like that. I really like these because it's got a little LED light in the middle of it that makes it easy to see where the ticks are. But you can use any sort of tweezers. I recommend using tweezers. Do not use your fingers. Do not burn it off of you while it's attached to you or your animals. Please do not use a lighter to do that. And don't use your fingers. Don't use a knife. That seems dangerous. Just carry tweezers. Like I said, regular old tweezers are fine. There's also, I know, Swiss Army Knife has tweezers on their like little to-go kits, so to speak, little keychain kits. And there's many, many things that you can use. I include a link to tweezers that I really like in the description of the video. But here we go, let's remove a tick. See how ticks are shiny? This is my dog. And there is a tick on her. Now ticks are generally easy to identify because they're super shiny. This tick in particular is an American dog tick. And what you wanna do is you wanna get all the hair out of the way. You're not gonna get hurt if you touch the tick or anything, but you wanna get all, all the hair out of the way. And then you wanna get as close to the skin as humanly possible. And you wanna get as close to the mouth parts as humanly possible. And then you're just gonna do a nice, steady, even tug until it releases. And now you have a tick. It's been removed. My dog didn't like it very much. Oh, we got a crawler. He's trying to get away. If you notice, ticks tend to crawl upwards. That's what they love to do. I'm gonna put him in the toilet bowl. See, he's trying to get off. I'd like to really grab on. So I dispose of them in the toilet bowl because if you try to put them down the drain, they can cling to the sides of the drain and crawl up it even if you try to flush it with water. So I flush it down the water bowl because there's nothing that they can grab onto on the sides. And I make sure that it doesn't come up in the toilet when it has not come up. And that is how you safely remove a tick and dispose of it. If you take a look at any of my other videos, you can see examples of how to prevent ticks from getting on your clothes and on your dogs, and I will link them in the comments below.